Thanks for tuning in to a special edition Retail Cloud Alliance video. Today we're diving into a topic that often gets overlooked, but could be one of the most impactful levers for retail resilience, your contracts. But here's the catch. Most retailers still treat contracts as paperwork and formalities, not as valuable data. From supplier relationships to vendor compliance, every agreement retailers make has a direct impact on agility, profitability, and risk. And it's time to turn your contracts into living intelligent systems that reveal insights, flag risks, and strengthen your decision-making process across your business. Today, our expert, Shannon Kirk Nakamoto from MyCertis, will show you how your business can benefit from AI-powered contract lifecycle management. Modern AI-powered contract lifecycle management is converting contracts into dynamic strategic assets that improve agility and decision-making for retailers. In the past, contracts were kind of signed and forgotten. They were static documents that didn't really become important unless there was an issue or a dispute. They are now key ways retailers are using to drive value in their business. They can take data out of them, visibility, key terms, dates, clauses. You can pull real-time KPIs. Cross-functional agility is coming out of these that can make dynamic real-time business decisions. Finance is able to identify opportunities to enforce lay fees, payment terms, drive real financial opportunities for the business, especially as revenue and margin become increasingly narrow. And as we're dealing with increasingly dynamic markets and things like tariffs, pandemic, still rippling through the economy. Procurement can consolidate suppliers, spot volume discount opportunities, deal with things as dynamic as, you know, moving supply chain, dealing with trends and things as they are shifting in the market as customers become more fickle and move between different opportunities. Sales and merchandising can ensure pricing and rebate agreements are leveraged and that people are taking advantage of the opportunities that are there. Legal compliance can verify the clauses meet policy standards and in practice this turns contracting into a proactive tool for agility. For example, if market prices for raw materials spike, retailers can use contract intelligence to immediately locate supplier agreements and allow for price adjustments with those contracting tools. Well, I don't think it's a secret that we're in an era of supply chain volatility and that one way of getting through that is really strengthening those supply chain relationships. AI contract insights can really equip you to deal with those disruptions and help build those partnerships with your key suppliers or understand where those challenges may be coming either for your suppliers or in those regions or areas where you may have challenges. Being able to map out your supply chain effectively through your contracts, especially when we're talking about large supply chains, retailers that are looking at a huge web of maybe hundreds or thousands of suppliers across multiple regions governed by contracts with tons of varying terms. That is hard to do at large scale, especially with human beings and doing it effectively. This is where AI tools can quickly analyze this huge volume of data. They're really good, especially generative AI, to deal with a large amount of language and identify potential weak links, missing contracts, missing areas, things where there may be gaps. And they can flag up multiple critical products sourced from single suppliers or regions that may be challenging and where you may have risks. They can show you where you may lack clauses like force majeure, penalty clauses, maybe tariff areas that you may have challenges or areas that may be a potential challenge that you can then start to take action to be protected or at least help you create a risk or heat map so that you can start making those proactive strategic decisions as a retailer to understand what's coming. This allows you to then make also predictive supply chain decisions. So retail contracts often contain hidden risks that it can erode margins, maybe compliance. And we don't often think about them as much, but auto renewal, unfavorable terms. We throw these things around, but we don't always manage them well. There's so much go, 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 and so much turnover and so much focus on getting those margins and moving quickly. And we often see losing track of unintended renewals and we continue to not be competitive. Auto renewal clauses that quietly lock in years of fees, red flags, 
this is where AI and CLM come in and they can flag all of this up and with enough time that you can start to be strategic. It is a really interesting time and I thought it was going to be interesting a couple years ago when Gen AI broke, but everybody's talking about agents. I'm sure everyone's safe hearing about, but we really are getting an interesting point. As I've mentioned, we're seeing a lot more in the negotiation space. We're seeing a lot more in the drafting and marking up because as we all know, Gen AI is really good with dealing with language. I think we're going to continue to see a lot more of AI co-pilots and things like that that continue to do that and can handle a little bit more of the negotiation. But I think there's always going to be a human in the loop, and I would encourage that to continue. We recently at ICERT has released our Negotiate AI and Vera co-pilots that are doing deep analytics, marking up contracts and these sorts of things and doing that surgical redlining, just like a lawyer like me used to do going in and marking up the specific contract. So it's really interesting. We are seeing a lot more of partnering specifically with customers like we have been doing to make those kind of point solutions, not just that customer, but for specific verticals like retailers, like banks, et cetera, in the co-pilot space to solve those specific problems that they may have. I think the interconnectivity of contract systems with business systems so that the agent is talking to the contract, making sure the business system is doing it and back and forth and constantly communicating is really where this is gonna start going and going a lot quicker. Because knowing what the contract says, knowing what the PO says and linking it and making sure that it's always happening and always correct is a big step and it's coming very quickly.